tension-filled weeks, the world holds its breath. <coughs> Meanwhile, not far away, an equally sinister drama is unfolding. On a Caribbean island just miles from Cuba, a new menace to peace is making himself known. Someone is trying to provoke war between the superpowers. An echo of the real-world crisis that Moscow and Havana have engineered. This time, however, Doomsday will not be averted by threat, blockade, or negotiation. Instead, the world will be saved by just one man. Released within days of the Cuban Missile Crisis, Dr. No is the first movie based on author Ian Fleming's novels about the British secret agent, James Bond. More films soon follow, and before long, Bond is the most famous spy in the world. Men want to be him, and women want to be with him. Agent 007 is not just supremely skilled in his profession, he is also suave, sophisticated, and able to charm even the most lethal femme fatale. Played by a succession of actors over the years, Bond remains the agent of choice for the most dangerous missions of MI6. He is the public face of a private realm, the dark world of espionage. Bond has always been the hardest working intelligence agent on silver screen. Thank you for the demonstration. Never wrapped. Cool under fire. He can vanquish murderous villains while balancing a martini in one hand and an automatic in the other. Who are these evil goons so intent on crushing 007? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ernst Stavro Blofeld. When I portrayed Gustav Graves in 2002's Die Another Day, let there be light. I joined a very exclusive fraternity. Very exclusive and exquisitely evil. Bond villains are a rogues gallery of twisted genius, engaging in every sort of treachery. From cheating at golf to cold-blooded murder. Gentlemen, hold the presses. Each new Bond villain seems to reflect our newest fears. They are chilling embodiments of our deepest anxieties. Yet we keep coming back for more, secure in the knowledge that one good man will triumph over evil. Today, half a century after his film debut, James Bond's exploits are more relevant than ever. As in the real world, his adversaries can strike from any direction members of a worldwide criminal conspiracy that is, in effect, a global terrorist network. Contemporary Bond villains reflect the authentic contemporary threats we face, which is why we rely on real intelligence agents to infiltrate, undermine and overcome those who would threaten our peace and security. Thanks to Ian Fleming, we can enter a corner of their world through the exploits of the most admired secret agent of all time. Independent, resourceful, fearless in the face of danger. He is the person we wish we could be. And when evil raises its ugly head, there is only one man to confront it. Mr. Bond. 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 Mr.